Well, howdy, you flea-bitten varmints. Join me in this video where we take an itsy-bitsy, teeny-weeny, little short, short lab egg and turn it into a monster dread, 36 inches, that will get the job done. Yee-haw! <laughs> Welcome to Open Source Distilling, where time-honored tradition meets modern-day technology. Be sure to check out my blog at opensourcedistilling.com. In this video, I'll take you through the process of taking my 5-inch water-jacketed lie bag and extending it out to 36 inches, which is over 700% longer. The 5-inch lie bag was featured in previous videos, such as the making of, and it was featured in a stripping run video where we used it to try and cool hot distillate coming off a still. It did not do well. If you are interested in those videos, I'll leave links in the description down below. Now I'm not going to show you exactly every little tiny thing that I did. However, I did make some mistakes, so I will point those out along the way. My first piece of advice is to not use a power tool when cutting around the water jacket. We'll see why that's important later on in the video. My advice is to use a hacksaw and go very slowly and carefully. Now once I applied some heat and got things moving, I was able to get the rest of this out without having to apply more heat to it. Now once everything was soldered up and cleaned up, I took it into the bathtub to give it a pressurized test. I almost skipped this part, but it turned out to be the most important part of the project. When I first cut a ring around the water jacket with the Dremel, I actually nicked the inside tube and made a leak. When I pressure tested the water jacket, water was coming out where it shouldn't have. So we're going to have to make a repair. In fast forward. When everything was said and done, I gave it a good cleaning with, big surprise, a pipe cleaner and got nice and shiny and clean. I threw a compression fitting on it and here we go, bam, the fully completed Liebig condenser. Now I'm not actually going to be condensing anything with this. I'm just gonna be using it to cool distillate coming off my liquid management still head when I'm doing strip runs. Again, stay tuned for that future video. Now, if you think you learned anything or you just like this video and you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button before seeing yourself out. Hope y'all are staying safe during this global pandemic. If your friend gives you a call up and asks you if you want to go outside and play, you say no, I'm going to stay home and watch opensourcedistilling.com.